What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel where I show you awesome things in Fallout 4. In this video I'll be showing you how you can get this unique and rather awesome Atom's Judgment. A unique super sledge that is pretty damn overpowered guys. It's possible to do over 1200 damage with this weapon. That's 290 physical damage, 60 energy damage and finally 890 radiation damage. It is really broken. Oh, and it also stuns your target. So I'm going to show you how to get the most damage you can out of it. And I'm also going to show you where you can get it. So to get this weapon, you're going to want to come here on the map to the Nucleus. It's southwest from Far Harbor. You can join this faction relatively early on in the Far Harbor downloadable content. Once you've joined the faction, you'll want to come and talk to the Grand Zealot. He will give you the quest called Heretic, which requires you to hunt down an old sister of Atom who has gone AWOL. Firstly, what we have to do is talk to one of the sisters. She can also be found here in the Nucleus. Pardon me. She will then tell you to go and search the holy sites. So firstly, go to the Glowing Grove. It's here on the map. Once here, you can get a clue from the notice board. Scraps now we're going to head over to the Radiant Crest Shrine. They're all within walking distance from one another. And you can find the next clue here and that will tell you to go to a nearby campsite. It's marked just over here on your map. And you can just walk over there. Once you get here, go inside this cabin. You'll find a small camp and you'll also find a holotape on the floor. Just listen to the holotape and it will direct you to a nearby church, which is just here on the map. Once you're here, go inside and interrupt the sister's preaching. You'll have a choice here. You can either kill her, or you can convince her to go back to the Nucleus. If you want her to come back to the Nucleus, I recommend that you question her about her faith, and then ask her about missing her family, and then you can more easily convince her to come home back to the Nucleus. Fear and doubt have blinded. Once you've decided her fate, head back Sister to the Nucleus and back. talk to the Grand Zealot, who will man. reward you with the unique weapon, Atom's Judgment. And now, the fun begins. The weapon itself has a base damage of 44 and an energy damage of 25, for a total of 69 damage. To improve the weapon's damage, there are a few things that we can do. To upgrade your weapon at the workbench with the stun modification. Firstly, get the perk Big Leagues. This will make your weapon do double damage. And then grab the Bloody Mess perk for another 15% boost. And of course, having 10 strength is important too. In total, this will allow you to do a physical damage of 290 plus an energy damage of 60. And then if you get the Nuclear Physicist perk, this is where the real damage comes in. This will now give the weapon 690 radiation damage. And then if we also add on the legendary effect, which is plus 100, and then double it to 200 because we have the nuclear physicist perk, this will give us a total radiation damage of 890. What the actual hell, Bethesda, this is broken. Now we can add the 290 physical damage and the 60 energy damage, and my friends, we have here a weapon that does 1243 damage a hit. Oh, and it also stuns enemies too. And this is all excluding the magazine buffs and any critical hits and even sneak attacks that can increase your damage further. I've actually made another guide on how you can buff your damage by another 50% and also make your character basically invincible by using chems. I'll leave a link to that guide down in the description and I recommend you check it out because it goes really well with this weapon. But what you'll find is that this weapon will at least two hit kill or most of the time one hit kill almost all humans, even ones that are fully armored in power armor because obviously radiation damage just ignores their armor. And actually, if you've got just a science build and you've gone full intelligence and you don't have much strength, but you do have the nuclear physicist perk, this weapon will still wreck humans. You don't actually need the strength, that's how overpowered it is. 
You'll find that most creatures in the wasteland though are somewhat resistant to radiation damage. This means that you'll do less damage to them and especially to super mutants. It's still pretty overpowered. It's just super overpowered when you're attacking humans. And even though it has a quite a slow swing speed, you'll find that the stun effect allows you to wind up another attack before the enemy can attack you back. The only issue with this weapon is it's not great when you're mobbed by lots of enemies because they can stun lock you and you can't attack back. If you are outnumbered, use VATS because it performs really well in VATS. Anyway guys, if this video helped you out and you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up and I will do more weapon guides like it. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter so you never miss a video. You'll find the links to that down below in the description. And I do hope that you have fun raining down Atom's judgment on those mere mortals in the Commonwealth. I actually think the name of this weapon's really cool because obviously, if you're one of Atom's followers, you're meant to be resistant to radiation. So if you get hit by a weapon that does tons of radiation, Atom is effectively judging you. And if you are not worthy, you will die. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. My name is ESO, and I will see you, loyal subscribers, in the next Fallout 4 video guide. Goodbye and farewell.